Do you find it hard to not think about the calories? Do you think the Slim World rules make sense? Everyone, welcome back to another video, another week on Slimming World. So I'm starting this weekly vlog, I'm heading shopping. It's actually Tuesday morning. Well, Tuesday, yeah, it's Tuesday morning. I would usually go on a Monday or a Sunday, but yes, let's have a tiny little story, story time before I get into the rest of the video. Um, first of all, I'm so excited for this video because I've been invited to an event for Protein World. So I've worked with Protein World before. They've sent me a bunch of things, protein powder, their mug cakes are delicious, tons of other things, protein pasta, and I honestly love their products. Their BCAAs are used for pre-workout. Basically, they've invited me to London with a plus one with my friend, and we're going to an event because they're launching a new product for their brand. So first of all, so grateful, so excited to go. So that is gonna be included in this video. We are going tomorrow. And I'm heading shopping now, so I'm going to show you the bits I get from shopping, which is a week of food as usual. Um, but the reason I didn't start this video yesterday is because Sunday, so two days ago, I basically fell down a few stairs. <laughs> Sounds really dramatic, but I landed on my coccyx bone, like my tailbone, and honestly, the pain has been unreal. Like, if anyone's fell, you'll know the pain it was horrific i was gonna go to a and e but i thought i knew it wasn't broken so i wouldn't be able to walk if it was broken so i've just been resting up and not doing anything including not eating that well i'm not gonna lie i was just like my boyfriend had to cook for me he's lazy he didn't want to cook we ended up getting takeaway yesterday i feel so bloated sluggish and i'm just so ready to eat some good foods again and go shopping and have some food in the house so that is what's been going on the past few days but anyway let's go shopping and i'll show you my full weekly grocery haul when i'm back go through everything i got this week so this is for me my partner my daughter and it was 72 pound from aldi everything so first i got these pineapple chunks i'm obsessed with pineapple at the moment i love these and i got these little snack apples cucumber radish a bunch of salad so spring onions i was a bit lazy i got this but then i got this as well if i wanted to like bulk out the salad and make it bigger cotton candy grapes i've not had these in a while these are really nice and for a recipe that i've seen on instagram it was a pasta bake recipe ricotta and spinach pasta bake so i thought i would try that recipe at some point this week i absolutely love these onion and chive cottage cheese i don't mind the normal one but these are much better i'm sure they're sin free if they're not i'm gonna be annoyed but i'm sure they're sin free i got two because the date is really good on these so for my b choice i've not had these in ages the high protein sandwich thins these are the only ones that are a b choice the other sandwich sandwich thins are not bees but these are so we've got these these are seven or eight sins because we've got some burgers which are in the freezer um for burgers at some point this week then just the salad and then i've got these pro milks so my boyfriend likes to have these but i have them they're not an a choice i thought there was an a choice because someone said they was on instagram like a slimming mold account but when you scan it they're really high in sins for about nine sins but if i do choose to have it which is kind of rare i just deduct six sins for my a choice so it ends up being three and a half sins if you want to do that but it's not recommended but that is what i do and then over here is all of the meats this week so like i said we've got some five percent fat burgers in the freezer which i think are one and a half sins each these thigh fillets there is a bit of fat on these which i just cut off and then they are sin free and there's no skin on them and then i've got the chicken breasts i was thinking of doing a pizza top chicken and i got some salmon fillets just for anything we all love salmon in this house so we'll just have this at some point this week then i got the cooked ham slices which i like to have for breakfast with some salad with my sandwich thin and then i just got some bacon i'll just remove the fat we always have bacon in this house like most days and then i got these reduced fat pork sausages they are two sins each and i know you can get lower sin sausages but i just prefer these ones i don't have sausages every day so i don't mind sinning the two sins for these if i want sausages 
I've got some more lighter mature cheddar. 40 grams of this is your A choice, or I believe six ins. And then baby bells for a snack. Once again, three of these are an A choice, or if I don't have them as an A choice and I just fancy a little snack, I like to snack on these as well. Then I've just got some baking potatoes to make some new more chips. Um, I've just got two packs of these. Some other random bits, I've just got this chopped garlic. I love using this because I'm so lazy, I never want to actually chop garlic. My daughter loves the tomato soup, just some beans, mushy peas to go with meals. And I was looking everywhere last week for a buffalo sauce. I have no clue what the sins are, um, but I just got it for just in case I wanted it in a recipe. And we never, I always forget to buy mint sauce. I'm not really, I don't think I'm planning on having it this week, but I just picked some up. And these are just some snacks. These are so high in sins, so I'm sure they're like nine sins. And these 12 bars, I think they're between four and six sins. Um, so I just grabbed these for some like snacks. So yeah, that is everything I got for this little shopping haul this week. I just kept it really, really simple because I'm not here for like a day and a half and, the, and my, my partner's, he's gonna have to cook. I just wanted to keep all the recipes simple this week. Um, so yeah, I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow when we are heading to London. Hello everyone, good afternoon. I have got about 45 minutes until I'm going to the train station, so I need to get ready. I'm just packing my little suitcase. I know I'm only there for one night, but I need tonight's outfit. And you know, clothes for tomorrow, pyjamas, my skincare, my makeup. So it's me and my friend Kirsty. She's actually my maid of honour. Um, if you didn't know, I'm getting married next year. She's going to be the maid of honour. Um, but anyway, so we're going to this event together with Protein World. And I'm just so excited. I've never been to an event before. And I love London. Who doesn't love going to London? So I'm not going to do my makeup. But I'm going to straighten my hair. And then when, I, when we get to the hotel, I'll show you my outfit, a bit of getting ready. And then we will go to the event and I'll vlog some of it on this video. Um, so yes, let's start rambling and get ready. So I'm almost packed. Um, this is my blazer for tonight, but I'll show you the full outfit later. So I'm bringing these to curl my hair with. I'm just gonna straighten it now, just because my hair gets so frizzy, I can't just leave it. So I'm just gonna straighten it. And I'll bring the crimpers to do when we get there. And I've got a really, really exciting package. So I'm gonna show you this in a second. But I've got this bag which I'm going to take. I absolutely love this bag. It's stunning. Probably my favourite one. Look how cute is that. I probably will leave the strap on it just because I find it easier to carry. But you could take the strap off. So I think I'm going to bring this bag. So this brand, Be Kind, they've been kind enough to gift me a bunch of jewellery, which I'm definitely going to wear tonight for the event. I've had a sneak peek already, it's absolutely stunning, honestly, I'm so impressed. So when you purchase from the Be Kind shop, you are contributing towards saving the bees. So they're doing it for a good purpose and I really like the message behind their brand. So let's show you all the goodies. So if you do want to purchase anything from this brand, then the code is Liz20 for 20% off your order. I will link everything down below and thank you so much to Be Kind for sending these out to me. So we've just got to the room. So I think we're gonna get the bottle of wine out, have a drink, whilst we're getting ready. And I'll show you my outfit, but I'll show you when it's on anyway. So I've got this like coral blazer. It kind of does up here at the front to keep it like a bit more cinched in. Showed you the bag earlier. This is like an open back top. It is actually like a sports top, but it works with this outfit. And then some like wide leg trousers. So let's have a couple of drinks. And this is the view from the hotel. So at least we've got a window in this room. That's nice.
hello i am ready me and Kirsty are ready she doesn't want to be on camera but here she is <laughs> we've just ordered a taxi one an uber we didn't want to get the um the tubes because one i'm wearing heels it's longer two or three like two tubes and a walk so three minutes for the uber so i'm going to try and vlog a bit of it but i'm not taking my camera i don't want to smash my camera or anything but i'll just take my phone and i'll get some clips have no idea what to expect i don't know if there's food i'm hungry i haven't eaten dinner i don't know what to expect or anything but i just know it's their new product launch for a slender product i don't even know what it is if it's protein powder or whatnot um but yeah like i said i'll take my camera and hopefully we have a good night and i'll catch up with you in the morning yeah sunny day sunny day sunny days no clouds in the sky but again away feels like it's been a freaking decade sorry don't call me cause i'm gonna be on sunny day sunny day make way all the stress and doubt yeah not today feels like it's been a freaking decade sorry don't call me cause i'm gonna be on Fresh cut sushi on a platter, ready honey, it don't matter, shots Till I try, try, gonna be 24-7 gold Good morning, so I've just brushed my hair out, it looks a bit crazy Um, but yeah, we had a good night Um, as soon as we got there, there's like drinks everywhere, music, you could just help yourself It was like all free drinks, which was nice And then she comes straight over, one of the people that work there and gave us some goodie bags So I'll show you what is in the goodie bag So this is their new product, Slender X, which is... I'm guessing like a pre-workout because it says have a first thing in the morning or before exercise and don't consume with any other caffeine and it's a um it's a blue raspberry flavoured supercharged fat metabolizer so I'll have to give this a try so this is their new product that there was um look having the whole party for um a bottle which I'll show you in a sec this alcoholic sparkling water look low calorie some lashes the slender mug cake i absolutely love these i've got the salty caramel one at home and also there was some fake nails but i gave them to my friend so don't wear them and there was loads of sweets there and i have a random lolly in there that is everything in the goodie bags so this is the bottle so now we're gonna go and get some breakfast So I've just prepped my food for the day. So I've got my breakfast, my usual, my high protein sandwich thing. This is a bee choice. I like to toast mine, it just seems better. With a bunch of salad and some ham. Might have a bit of mayo, so I'll send that. And I've brought extra salad for my lunch. So I'm gonna have, make this into a jacket potato. The onion and chive cottage cheese, absolute favorite and I've not had it in forever. I will scan this on the app, I'm sure it's free. But if not, it'll be very low soon, but I will scan it on the app just to check. And I've got these pineapple chunks, which I'll snack on for, you know, just throughout the day. So this will see me until I'm home tonight. Good evening, I am now home. I look a lot better than what I did earlier. I got my lashes done, finally. Um, so yeah, I'm heading to work, I'm taking food with me. So I've got um, a homemade curry. Um, I didn't make it, but I was told there was oil made with the curry so i'm just going to sin the oil i obviously don't know how much but it's the only sins that i've had today everything else has been sin free and i'll have some just like white basmati rice with it i'll shut the back doors locked before we go so yeah i'm heading to work today is just the sins for the um for the curry and i think there's like mushrooms and potatoes and stuff in there so i'm sure it's going to be nice and then i'll see you in the morning So I had sausages, the low-fat ones, bacon, egg on a sandwich thing, which is my bee choice, and some brown sauce. Feeling organised. This is the second load of washing, and it's been dried, all of the sheets. Third load is in, which will be washed and dried today. You know you're getting old when the weather's warmer. Not warmer, it's not look raining, and you're like, yes, I can do the washing. Yeah. Hello. We're going to go and take the dogs for a walk. And then what we do when we get back is... We're going to watch 
Hocus Pocus 2. And I'm going to pick up the dog poop. <laughs> yep, that's her job, picking up the dog poop from the garden. So let's go for the walk. Trying to get the harness on Melden. Oh, come on now. Yeah. The whole scenario, trying to get the dogs for a walk. Come on. Got there. Back from the walk, time to grab some lunch. Just gonna have some rice cracker, rice cake, rice cakes with a bit of cheese, a tiny bit of blue cheese mixing, and some ransom pickle because it's kind of late for lunch. So I'm just gonna have this. How cute! Raincoats for the dogs. So cute. Look at you, Rolly Pubs. <laughs> so I thought I would do a little Q&A before I end this video. I've got probably about 10 questions. I only actually put up the post yesterday so I don't have like a ton of questions but I will go through everything that I was asked on Instagram and on YouTube. Also if you've got any questions um that you want to add on to this after if you if you're interested put it in the comments and i could like answer them next week if you want like another little q a um i won't say the names i'll just say the question let's get into it yes i've got a coffee just to see me through do you plan a whole menu and including the sins per day in a week's food plan um so no i don't actually plan the whole menu what i tend to plan just my lunches which are usually meal prep you, not every week but I'd usually meal prep the lunches so I plan them and then I do have an idea of sins it's usually sin free or very low sin um, but I do plan all of my meals not to say Monday's fish and chips but I'll just say okay burger fish and chips so chilli beef stew maybe and I'll just have them throughout the week I don't plan the sins each day I feel like that to me would just be a bit too much but I definitely do plan my lunches for the meal prep and all of the dinners each week just so I know I've got the ingredients I know what I'm cooking I usually write it in my notes in my phone so say on a Tuesday I get home like oh what shall I cook what have I got then I'll just pick some things. That is just how I like to do it. Another question, do you find it hard to not think about the calories in your meals, etc. now that you follow Slimming World? Um, it is a good question and I'm sure a lot of people would wonder that as well. So basically, before I started Slimming World, I'd probably had months without calorie counting and I was just so sick of calorie counting at this point and I just felt like I'm so stuck in a rut, I just need some structure. And I, um, that's why I basically decided to go back to Slim World. I never thought I would. That is, I don't know why. I just, I will get into that in another question. I didn't think I would go back to Slim World. But, um, but yeah, sometimes I'm going off track here. Yeah, sometimes I will look at, say, a bun, like a brioche bun, a burger bun, and it's seven or eight cents. And then I'm like, but it's only like 130 calories. Um, but yeah, there are definitely days, there are definitely times that I find as it goes on and we, and when you start following the plan week to week and you start getting weight losses because you are on plan 100%, you just believe in the plan and then you start thinking, okay, forget about the calories, I know the plan works, eat the free food, use your sins for whatever sins and the plan will work and then you start to just like push that calorie counting mindset out the out the way and I know calorie counting works but if you don't want to do it then Slim World is a good option but for me. Um favourite exercise to do in the gym. What is my favourite exercise? I would actually say you probably wouldn't think it um dumbbell chest press because when I'm at the gym I just feel like I can push myself like I was saying my boyfriend or someone might have to spot me obviously but I wouldn't really do that at home and I just really love, you know, going heavier, getting a PB, like a personal best at the gym. And I, I do love training chest, I just do. And it's something that I've been lacking lately with training at home. I've kind of neglected the chest and I went back to the gym a few weeks ago and I started training chest again and I was like, yes, love it. So I do love a good dumbbell chest press. After previously calorie counting, do you think the Slimming World rules make sense? Well, they do make sense because I know that when you follow the plan, eat your free foods, stick to your 15 sins a day, you will lose weight. 
and everyone does when they stick to plan. It's when you don't stick to plan and go crazy on the weekends, like we all know I have, have quite a few of them weeks lately, and um, that's when you don't get a loss. I understand why people say the rules don't make sense because in comparison to calorie counting, we know if you eat in a calorie deficit, the weight will come off. It's when you just have the mindset like I used to. I used to just think, well, I don't want to be, I don't want to be counting sins. I don't believe that that's going to work when I know calorie counting works. But you get, I got to a point where I was just so over calorie counting, had no motivation to do it. There was no accountability. I wasn't weighing myself. I was calorie counting some days and not others. I weren't being really consistent with it. And, and for me, Slimming World is somewhere to be accountable. So this is why it works for me. And yes, the plan works when you stick to it. I don't want to keep repeating myself, but yeah. Um, all right, this is a long one. Do you feel Slimming World gets an unfair reputation online? When I did Slimming World a few years back, it worked for me, but for personal reasons, I stopped going, which led to weight gain. I know why bash Slimming World, as it totally does work for me. It was the wrong time for me to do it, as my mental health wasn't great, but I see constantly online people bashing Slimming World. I never hear much about Weight Watchers. It's always Slimming World, yeah. And I feel like why can't the weight loss community in general be more supportive? Also love your videos. Thank you um, for that comment if you are watching. I definitely agree. I have gone, I'm not really into TikTok that much, but I suppose I've scrolled through TikTok and there are tons of people just definitely bashing Slimming World. Maybe it comes up more for Slimming World because we search Slimming World on the phone and that's what gets recommended to you. I think that's probably why we see the Slimming World bashing more. Um, but there are certain things I get, and I hear this all the time, right, a banana is a banana, it's free food, or it's, I don't know, 80 calories, it's a banana. People will be like, well, if you mash up a banana, you have to sin it, and then they'd make a whole video on how ridiculous that is. And I do get it, but basically, if you eat a whole banana, you're gonna be full or satisfied you know a nice little snack but if you mash a banana and put it on something you're not going to be full and this is the point that some world are making if you like if you was going to squeeze like 15 20 oranges into a juice you'd have to sin it you'd have to count the sins but if you add 15 actual oranges you are going to be so full and that is free food so you wouldn't i understand that like now that you're on sim world like i get it and i get that what it is but i also get everyone else bashing it because people just think well it's like a cult blah 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 everyone has their opinions but if you want to follow slimming world like me if you want to go to class get support from everyone else going if you want to be weighed every week because that works for you then do it but yeah it would be nice if people were being more supportive um about people being more supportive i just think you know what i don't actually care anymore i want to follow the plan i want to go to, um you know i want to get weighed every week then i will i'm not going to justify it to anyone it's a shame if it bothers you like when you're following the plan and people are being really negative like it is annoying but as long as, like you say, your close friends or family, they support you, then that, you know, that should be all that matters. But I do, I do see a lot of it online and it is a bit annoying. Uh, favourite fake away recipe. I don't know if this sounds really, really basic, but just like a slimy mould burger and chips or just, you know, the 5% fat burgers you'd buy. Just load it up with cheese, bacon, an egg, maybe some avocado or halloumi if you're gonna be fancy. Um, but yeah, just a mousse with chips, just like air fried, crispy chips. You just can't beat a good burger and chips. Oh, look, if I'm, have, if, if I'm out, like at the pub and I'm like, right, I'm gonna eat anything I want, I can't wait, I will have a burger and chips. Sometimes it's a steak and chicken combo with chips or like, you know, a nice fillet steak and chips like Miller and Cara or something. But at home, I would like, a fake away recipe I would definitely say really loaded burger and chips that is just that is a bit of me if you could only eat one meal for dinner for the rest of your life what would it be some sort of pasta see I do this king prawn linguine pasta I've probably showed a thousand times I don't know if that's my favorite of a pasta maybe some like cheesy pasta with like garlic bread I mean it's not the healthiest <laughs> But if I had to pick a dinner for the rest of my life, yeah, maybe some sort of really nice cheesy pasta with 
chicken and prawns and like some peas and cheese on top yeah love love pasta i definitely eat pasta like twice a week will you continue to go to weigh-ins when you've hit your weight loss goal yes 100 percent at least for i don't know three four months i'd want to go consistently whether it's either every week or once every two weeks because I just think if you re if you reach a goal and you start going, you're just gonna gain it back, or slowly, slowly gain it back maybe. Also, if you don't know, um, when you hit your weight loss goal, you don't need to pay anymore. So, and you've got a three pound leeway, so you can gain three pound or go under three pound, whatever your target weight is. And I pick my target weight, they don't. And I can change it at any time. Um, but yes, I'm definitely gonna be weighing myself probably every single week for maybe, like I said, a couple of months. Then I'd like to weigh every like two weeks, then maybe I could weigh every three weeks. And then, you know, when I feel like I don't need to weigh anymore, I could just weigh myself at home, or I could go every, I think you have to go every eight weeks. I'd probably end up doing that, but I feel like that is gonna take me a long time because I'm still about eight pound away from my goal weight, and I've really just been maintaining recently so god knows how long it's going to be till i get to my goal but i definitely will um be still weighing and then the goal is to just not have to weigh and, and stay at the goal weight that is that is the dream <laughs> and also you get um the yes slim for life book when you hit target honestly i can't wait you get another b choice which is either like bread cereal bar cereal so you get another one of them each day and there are certain foods like avocado i don't know what else that's sin free that you would usually have to sin. So you kind of get it to eat a bit more food and I think you get more sins each day. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe you get 20 sins. So you hit your goal weight, it's free to go and you get to eat a bit more food. I just feel like, yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, so yeah, I think that is everything. Is that everything? Yeah, that was all of the questions. Thank you to anyone that sent me in a question. If you've got any questions that you want to add on, like I said, comment below and I could answer them next week if there is anything. And I am just going to go ahead and end the video here. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.